I'm Amy Bradley and today's Connemaw Connection is coming to you from the East Kentucky Science Center where Evergreen Exhibitions is presenting Brain, the world inside your head, giving the public an in-depth look at our body's most intricate organ. There are about a hundred billion neurons in the human brain. The same number of stars in our galaxy. Sometimes those neurons misfire resulting in seizures. Epilepsy is the third most common neurological condition in the nation, affecting more than 30 million Americans. For some, medication can control seizures, but for others, like the young woman we're about to introduce you to, medication was just not enough. Helene Gleason has our story. At first glance, Tila Ogline of Somerset is a seemingly fun, happy 23-year-old. But under this playful exterior lies a condition that has robbed Tila of her independence and a chance at a normal life. It all started when she was just an infant, the result of a reaction from a vaccine. It was approximately three days later that she started seizing, like uncontrollably, uh, 20 seizures in a day, one time. Tila's brain had swelled and the resulting damage left her with epilepsy, which occurs when the brain experiences abnormal or excessive electrical activity, causing seizures. They're telling me afterwards what happened. I don't remember them. I don't know what I'm doing in my seizure or anything like that. I know I twitch, something like that. I don't know what goes on. It's like in high school, Tila, only had like two friends and everyone else was real scared of her just because of her epilepsy. And as a 23 year old, you're supposed to be able like to go out and explore things, like go on trips and go out with your friends, go to parties and stuff, and she can't do that just because she will over exhaust herself and she'll get tired and then she'll have a seizure and she's scared to have them out in public. While it may be misunderstood, it's certainly not uncommon. More than three million Americans suffer from epilepsy, and it's estimated that one in 10 adults will have a seizure in their lifetime. Finding the right treatment is key, something that has been a constant struggle for Tila, who has tried several medications with debilitating side effects. 60-70% of patients with epilepsy will have control of their seizures with medications. Another 30, maybe 40% of those patients may not have adequate control of their seizures with medications. And those are patients who may be candidates for epilepsy surgery. When Dr. Bowles first mentioned the words brain surgery to Amy Sue, it was met with much hesitation. I've said no, no, she's not getting it done. I don't, I don't want this done. And when talking to Dr. Bowles, he made it sound much easier. And he put a lot of concerns that I had at ease. Uh, the fact that he's done hundreds of these surgeries has helped me and had numerous success stories. And with that, Tila and her family started a medical journey with hopes that after surgery, Tila could lead a more normal, seizure-free life. I would like to get a job, move out on my own, and hopefully be with my friends and have a good time, which I could never do before. I would like to know who Tila is, basically. I don't know Tila. Tila has been in a drug-induced you know, state for 23 years. I want her to get a job. I want her to be able to say, I did this. Um, I want her to be able to go swimming and not have somebody holding her hand the whole time she's in a swimming pool. Uh, simple driver's license so she can, you know, go and meet boys you know, go out and have fun with their friends. To start the process, Tila underwent very thorough testing, including an MRI and PET scan to get a roadmap of her brain. Tila also spent several days in Memorial's epilepsy monitoring unit to try to determine where her seizures were originating. She was on multiple anticonvulsant medications as we slowly 